hello friends welcome back to the channel techno 49 i hope everyone is safe in my last video i talked about the forecasting with the help of time series method so if you haven't seen that video please try to watch that in today video we'll talk about how we can do the time series forecasting with the help of exponential smoothing methods so now let's start first of all we need to understand that how many type of exponential smoothing method we have so the first one is simple exponential smoothing and the definition it says that if you have a time series that can be described with constant level and no seasonality you can use simple exponential smoothing to make short-term forecast when you have the data in front of you and you see that the constant level of call volume there is no seasonality there is no increasing or decreasing in the call volume so you can use simple exponential smoothing method second one is the halts exponential smoothing if you have a time series that can be described with increasing or decreasing trend with no seasonality we can use halt exponential smoothing so it is kind of very different from the simple exponential smoothing generally what happens in the halts exponential smoothing you can see that with the help of past historical data you have you can see that the data is increasing and decreasing at very constant level mm -hmm. and there is no seasonality so you can use that halt exponential smoothing so the third one is that winter three parameter linear exponential smoothing so after that we have winter three parameter linear and seasonal exponential smoothing so in that case what happens that if you have a time series if you have historical data in front of you that can be increasing or decreasing plus and you have the seasonality also so you can use this halt winter exponential smoothing to make short-term forecast in this three parameter linear and seasonal exponential smoothing or winter halt winter exponential smoothing you will have all the details the data would be increasing or decreasing plus there would be seasonality also so to smooth out the data we can use this method to understand that we should have the accurate not you can say that accurate but at least good forecast to be coming out after analyzing the historical data so now let's talk about the auto regressive integrated moving average that also called ERIMA. It says that it's a statistical technique that uses time series data to predict future. The parameters used in the ERIMA, which refers to the auto regressive integrated and moving average part of data. ERIMA modeling will take care of trends, seasonality, cycles, errors, and non stationary aspect of data set when making forecast. So it includes all these kind of details, what kind of seasonality we have in the past data, what kind of like trends, error cycles. So we'll talk about in the next. So first of all, we need to understand that how ERIMA model is in generally terms work. So how to understand ERIMA model. So to understand in a proper way, so we can just take one example. To understand this, we can refer real time scenario that sugar cane juicer. From juicer, it is difficult to extract on the juice in one go. So the shopkeeper repeats the process for several times till there is no more juice left in the residual. That's how ERIMA works. The idea with ERIMA model is that the final residual should look like white noise. Otherwise, there is a juice or information available in the data to extract. So by that way, we can have the advantage of this model. That will definitely help us to achieve the high number of accuracy when we are predicting for the future. So how do we use ERIMA model? ERIMA checks availability in the data. The data should also show a constant variance in its fluctuations over time. Mm -hmm. To get the proper information about the parameter used in ERIMA is based on identification process which was proposed by Fox Jenkins. So by that way, we can use the ERIMA model. And when we use the ERIMA model, as we all know that ERIMA is mainly used to project future values using historical time series data it's mainly used for 38 to 40 historical data points so if you have the three years data you can use that so that's going to help you so all these things we need to understand that so by that way you can have all the forecasting method with the help of exponential smoothing and the anima model in case if you have any kind of doubt so please just mention in the comment section i'll try to give the answer for that for you so in the next video i'll try to have some more interesting facts about wfn so please till then thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to the channel 